hot flashes and night sweats. Now, one of the most difficult things about having hot flashes and night sweats is that they can come out of nowhere. They can happen for no reason, right? And they can be one of the most difficult things to deal with because you can't predict it. You don't know when it's going to happen. And it can change day to day, week to week, month to month as you go through your life, right? Now, the thing to keep in mind as we talk about hot flashes is this. The body never does anything without a reason. Meaning just because you're having a hot flash doesn't mean that it's doing it for no reason and feeling frustrated about this process is very normal, but understand that your body is reacting to something that's happening internal. Mm -hmm. Yes. So to understand this, it's important to understand how your body regulates its own body temperature. There are very specific things that actually occur brain and body to help regulate body temperature. Your hypothalamus, is in charge of regulating overall body temperature. But your hypothalamus is very sensitive to changes in estrogen. Yes, changes in estrogen. So what does this mean? This means that when you're going through perimenopause and your hormone levels are changing and fluctuating, things like that, that it can actually impact how sensitive your hypothalamus is to regulating your own body temperature. This means that with something like um, a slight change in the temperature and in the environment. Maybe you're sleeping and you roll over and get more covers on you, right? And the fan that was on in the house, like the furnace fan all of a sudden turns off and the air conditioning shuts off, all of a sudden in your bedroom, just for a little bit, it gets slightly warmer. Now, normally your own body would regulate that temperature very easily, but because this slight change happens, and there's a difference in estrogen, your body says, warning, warning, warning. And then it'll all of a sudden create an internal rush of heat, which causes you to sweat. That sweat then will cool your body temperature down. So what happens is you just end up waking up in a puddle of sweat freezing because of that night sweat, because of that hot flash. Now, can you have hot flashes for other reasons other than hormone changes, right? Going through perimenopause or in menopause. Yes. Here's a few of those things, right? Thyroid, thyroid issues can create hot flashes. Mm -hmm. Stress, right? Having stress and have your internal body system not function correct correctly. Absolutely. But one of the other common ones is actually sugar and specifically alcohol sugars. Yeah. So one of the things I hear a lot of the time from gals as they're going through perimenopause is they'll say, oh, my hot flashes are so bad. They're so bad. Oh, how do I regulate this? How do I, how do I deal with this? Right. And they'll say, oh, I've cut out sugars and that has helped. I cut out alcohol or wine or something. Oh, that's helped a ton. Oh, but then I went to a wedding. I had a glass of wine or two and my hot flashes were just terrible. They were just, yes, yes because we're looking at something more than just the hormone change, right? To contribute to that hot flash. So what would it be? And remember that that change in hormone also will impact other systems of your body. No system works alone. And we keep oftentimes thinking that it's just like one thing, like just one thing will be in charge of this. Just one thing is the cause of this. You know what I mean? And that's not necessarily true. So when we're looking at causes of hot flashes, we also need to keep in mind that your liver plays a huge role in this. Liver processes like 85% of all your hormones. Yeah, so this would mean that if your liver is overloaded, if your liver is having an issue processing correctly, that little bit of sugar or alcohol from wine is actually gonna overload that liver to then trigger hot flashes that much easier. Yeah. So one of my favorite things to layer in is actually a detox support. This will help your liver keep functioning at its optimal level and clear things through faster. So even if you do have some sugar or a glass of wine or something, you are not stuck paying the price for it because of the hot flashes. Now, the other thing besides this, besides stressors, besides the liver is stressors and your adrenal response. Having your hormones shift and change is very stressful internally. So the adrenal balance tincture is one of my favorite things to layer in because it helps your system react and respond to stressors. It really keeps things very even and level overall. This can again be something to incorporate regularly to help mitigate any hot flash response that your system would have.
Now the last thing of course is the menopause balance tincture. The herbs in there are specifically designed to help your body maintain temperature regulation because of hot flashes. There's also things in there that do assist with sleep, with mood, you know, uh, vaginal dryness, all of those other things too that do come along with perimenopause and menopause, of course. But the, the three things together, and this is actually found in a Jumpstart bundle, the detox support, the adrenal balance, and the menopause tincture, to incorporate on a regular basis. This is going to help your system function better. That way you feel better. Now, for gals that have gone through menopause a long time ago, and you might be thinking, um... I, I haven't had a cycle in like five years. Why am I still having hot flashes? This is ridiculous. Totally get it. Totally get it. This is going to be related to your liver and everything not processing well and your stress levels. So again, incorporating that jumpstart bundle, all three of them, the detox support, the adrenal balance tincture, and the menopause balance tincture are going to be fantastic things to layer in to help your system combat those hot flashes on a regular basis. The goal is, is that we get your body functioning better so that you don't need these things all the time. But when you think about where hot flashes come from, why they show up in the system, it's important to recognize that your system's just functioning differently now. And this is a normal process to happen. So incorporating some different things, some different tools can really help in the meantime. Yeah, so I'm Dr. Beth Westy, women's health and hormone expert, author of the book, The Female Menopause Solution, as well as the book, The Female Fat Solution. And you can find these books on Amazon. I also have my podcast, The Female Health Solution, where I have tons of episodes geared towards women's health. And um, make sure you subscribe to my podcast, to the YouTube channel, to stay updated on all the videos I have coming out. I've got some really exciting things happening here soon. So stay tuned, because you don't want to miss out.